Floodwaters raged through the mid-state. Now folks are cleaning up what's left on this Labor Day. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan shows us, the receding waters are revealing lots of damage in Cheatham County. When we first brought you this story last week, the water level was too high to see what exactly had happened to these docks. But now that it has receded, you can see the extent of the damage. Uh, the standoff here was bent almost double. It's definitely more clear. Not just the water, but what has happened here. In this muddy embankment, tree trunks, limbs, and twisted metal tell a story. One of a dock and pontoon boat gone rogue. One of my neighbor's boat docks broke loose and then hit another neighbor's boat dock. And then it hung and then it came down and hit mine and knocked, uh, knocked it off the foundation, pulled it out of the ground. And then it hit uh, my other neighbors here and tore up his boat dock, so. And then it went down and hit the bridge and kind of demolished it, you know, and it had his boat in it. I'm sure he had quite a bit of damage also. The video speaks volumes of Sycamore Creek's water levels last week. It was high, almost up to Charles King's house. I was thinking the possibility of it being like 2010 again, another flood where it comes in the house, a lot of damage and, you know, no flood insurance. But it wasn't his house damaged by this storm. This time, it was his own dock and pontoon boat, which survived waters about 10 feet higher in 2010. Water got really high, got all the way up to the concrete here, and the water was flowing out. The current was worse than I've ever seen it down here. It's like five times worse than the river, and it was up higher than the river, so it was, it was really flowing. This could cost him tens of thousands of dollars, King says but he's still trying to hope for the best. Just hope that the insurance company gives me good news tomorrow. That would be great. Kyle Harant, News Channel 5. According to the son of the man who owns the boat that hit the bridge, it eventually drifted out to the Cumberland River and then crashed where it meets with the Harpeth. They'll try to remove it this week.